Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to implement a divider. As the name suggests, it basically allows you to divide items and just put, say, horizontal line. It's a great, really minimalistic implementation that just helps, you know, improve the interface of your application. So I've got this list view with a bunch of list tiles that are created in a separate video. But I was to zoom in so you can see the gap between any two of the list tiles. I think, see, yes, there's a gap, but there's nothing else but white space from separating it. If we put a line there, we can you do use the divider for that. So between each one, if we put divider, because remember, this is just widgets, and divider is a widget. We put divider. We don't really necessarily need any parameters. As you can see, there is now a gap, no gap there, but here there's a bigger gap, and there's this line. And you could do it for all the others as well. In here, there are a few different properties. We can put indentation. If we put, let's say, 100 for that. So this just sets how far along it starts from the left, if you want that. I'm not a big fan of that one. But the two that I want to show you, or the one two, is color and height. So color, if I put colors, the red. It's a red line now. And that is my favorite color. And you can also change the height. This probably will not change what you think it's going to change. So if I put 500, so it's big. As you can see, the line is still the same thickness. What it actually changes is the gap between each item, not the line thickness. So that's just something to bear in mind. But likewise, if you want a smaller, smaller thickness, you can achieve that. So if I was to put zero we can you know get a slightly tighter fit than the default one but as you can imagine if we got all these this tiles and you know trying to do this this can be a bit tedious even if you're using an algorithm you know for a list you, you can do it in other stuff you know add dividers in other stuff as well you know like a draw for example which you know is open from the side and you know variety you can add it anywhere really but luckily for us the list view can have something else so what i want to do is actually get rid of all of this for now actually no no i'm gonna need all of this in a second i'm gonna need it i'm gonna get rid of this get rid of these two get rid of these three bloody hell how many did i create a lot clearly Okay, so I'm going to leave the one because I will need that very soon. I'm going to get rid of this children as well. For now, I'm going to comment it out before I delete it because I still need part of it. And what we're going to do is put children, but instead of, you know, putting widgets here, we are going to put list tile dot divide. No, we're going to start list tile, right? List tile dot divide tiles. And in here, we can put the tiles. So we just put context, context, and then we put tiles. And here, it is just an, an array of tiles. Here, we need to put dot to list. So we convert it to a list, which is what the children property needs. And in here, we can put all of our list tiles. So if I copy that and paste it here, if I, you know, do it multiple times, as you can see, I've got no divider. I haven't put a divider here. But as you can see, they all have a divider in between them. And that's a great way of implementing a divider between all list tiles without manually putting extra dividers. And that way you can keep them consistent and you can change the color property right here. So that's it for the divider and also a little extra thing the divide tile feature if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i really look forward to seeing you in the next video